Hey guys, how's it going? Phil Montelioni, the book peddler here, coming with you from another, or with another YouTube video. Uh, this one is going to be on collecting, buying and selling scrapbooks and ledgers. I really enjoy um, scrapbooks, ledgers. I found a lot in farmhouses around the local area. I have some uh, locally from Smithville, the Smithville General Store ledger that Julie, the owner of the store, has been um, gracious enough and to, to give me and trust with me to, to uh, show you guys today and a couple local Smithvillian ledgers. So thank you very much, Julie. And uh, I, I think, you know, locally you'll find it fascinating and some of you out there, wherever you are, may as well. I also had, uh, thanks to Brian, who um, is a customer of mine, and he we traded. He traded me a couple ledgers that he had found. for. A, I had like a book of letters from the 20s and a, um, what is it, a military one from a vet's place, I believe it was. And uh, I love these things. They're, they're really great. But before we get started, let me just thank all of you who have um, purchased off of me, who continue to give me support. It's wonderful. I really appreciate it. Love you guys out there. It's a blessing to have you in my corner. So thank you very much, of course. And uh, special thanks to Billy. Billy uh, found me on YouTube, actually. Lived about 30 minutes away. <clears throat> and he purchased some gorgeous material. So, Billy, if you're watching, hello. Thank you for the business. And, of course, you're always welcome back. Okay. And, um, yeah, so let's get started here. Um, scrapbooks and ledgers. Um it's they're amazing things to me because it, it's kind of like a window it's window it's a window into another uh, time period it's a time capsule uh basically when you open up of it individuals uh thoughts you know and interests with ledgers you can th there'll be all sorts of ledgers um general store ledgers railroad uh blacksmith uh, you you name it uh, a, a shoemaker uh, you name it people kept records it's how they kept records and so looking through them you can see a person's habits um or, or a collective um society's habits basically or town um it, you know it, it's pretty pretty great to look into them some of them can be highly valuable valuable content of course is is of the utmost importance so what i'm going to do this is probably going to be a little bit of an extended video, but I believe if you see it all the way through, you're going to really enjoy this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is show the ones that I have. I've started kind of collecting them, which is a little dangerous because I don't want to get too carried away. I want to be a little bit more selective of, of, of what I keep, and I can't keep everything, of course. But I'm going to show you these ones. I'm also going to show you some values that particular ledgers have fetched online because i think you'd find that of interest as well what i what i really love like i probably like scrapbooks a little more than ledgers because you're you're these time stamps you're probably they're, they're they're personal thoughts and everything within these books i'll find uh clippings and newspapers some of them are filled with different things um some some of them uh, uh have only probably been handled by one or two other individuals and I think that's that's really cool. And um, I found them filled with greeting cards, all all sorts of different stuff. They're very unique. They're like pieces of folk art to to me. So, what I'm actually going to do is I did a video on book treasures of what I found in books, treasures in books, basically. And I'll link a card up if you want to check that out. I was going to put together a type of a book. Uh, scrapbook uh, items that I found in books throughout the years and I got to kind of figure out how I want to do it because some things probably actually deserve to be framed um, and they probably shouldn't be in a book but I'm going to do it in a way that will preserve them and I think it'll be a really cool record and probably turn into a neat little hobby of mine and I'll write a little description next to them like these people used to do about what it is maybe maybe in certain cases where the book came from it, it, it's it's prevalence and i'll also show you a catalog of some interesting broadsides they're called and i found things like this in in a number of old books before you might find interest i'll show you values of those so guys without further ado let's get started and uh with these smithillian ones i'm gonna start with the scrapbooks here and then i'll bring over the the um the ledger and a lot of scrapbooks were put together in ledgers they were put right over so this is a mrs john 
her name was John, that's interesting, uh, J. Thomas, Smithville Flats, New York. And here we have a ton of different paperwork and clippings. And this says, I am insured with security mutual insurance policy. That's where my dad worked. Binghamton, New York. Ain't that something? So, yeah, here, here's clippings. Farm for sale. Um, let's go through this a little bit. Will and John Thomas reunion. All this different paperwork here. Here's a marriage at the Presbyterian Church. That's right up the road from me. This old one burned down. So there's marriage stuff. Very cool. There's probably obituaries in here. Let's see what this is. You're seeing this first time as I am. Look at the handwriting, huh? It's really cool stuff. Let's get to some more of the meat. 26 pupils on honor roll, Smithville School. This town used to have a school. Look at that, 1935. Unbelievable. Shapley, Fitch, Fisher, Thomas, Harding, Everett. All these are names in the town. Green Central School Auditorium. That's where everyone around here goes. Some, some may go up to Oxford. Mother gave me this poem, 1943. Class poem. Ethel Rogers, I mean, look at this, this is a, I see a Loomis here, Loomis gang was big in this area, class day, ain't this, this really, really neat, Footloose, there's a play, these are, these are really great, we're getting an inside look into people's lives in the 40s right now, around this local era, officers elected by Smithville Valley Grange, see what's in the back. So very, very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. You can look at these for a long time. So this is a lot of local area uh, history here. Wonderful. And thank you again, Julie, for allowing me to, to borrow these. So these are a little, this one is a little bit later. There's a picture of someone. So very, very cool. Last survival survivor of civil war in county dies at home near green edward S sanford he's 98 years old born in del delhi delaware county pretty great died in when did he die in 43 very cool green farm boy accidentally shot by 12 year old pale wow oh the badgers Flanagan's. Flanagan's own a lot of farmland out here. So isn't this something, huh? Very cool. A lot of local appeal, obviously. I'll show you this one here. Again, a lot of clippings. Let's see what's in here. And this content, dwarf pear trees. The Farmer's Club. Whole mess of different things. I'll give you a outer view here uh to remove pimples from the face apple trees too old to bear fruit raspberries from seed so maybe someone was a farmer and put this together and here's some of the ledger look at that shenango county 1856 ain't that something what were they buying it looks like sun dries some dried tomatoes maybe so look at this. There's a, a, a record. Pretty beautiful. Very interesting. Here's a lot of writing. Let's see what's here. 1875. Pretty amazing. All right, let me show you the Smithville Ledger. So this is the day book of the Smithville General Store right here. 1871. To 1872 now this is very fragile and i don't want to break the binding so i have it braced here but i'm gonna try to give you a good look 1871 this guy's buying whiskey richard harrison harrison sowler or something john mulligan what's he buying he's buying candy tobacco and buttons mike flanagan buying a bed cord 
Will Salisbury. Isn't this great? Lewis. What's I can't read some of it. But um what a what a cool thing, huh? Let's see, what does it say here? Hudson Skilliman. Hansen. Mr. Hansen is probably from the Hansen Mill. It just burnt down. So what a beautiful, cool book. And I'm not going to poke too much, but this is the record of the general store down the street. What people were purchasing. Set of furs. You know. Pretty awesome. So yeah, those are the Smithville books very cool now i'm gonna now i'm gonna show you i'm gonna clear off the table here and i'm gonna show you some of the scrapbooks i have in the one that most uh recently came in and show you some differences in them so this one here once again i found an old farmhouse i love the content of this so here's a bunch of different paper i'm gonna put that to the side here we go lucky and unlucky signs let me stand up and see if we can zoom kisses talking about kissing people okay it it is unlucky to turn the mattress of a sick person on friday night shake the pillows well and you shake off trouble <laughs> see all these old sayings all these now this is an 1800s one look at this on phrenology very cool now the majority of this is actually filled with remedies there's palmistry now, you could, like, take this out and frame it and sell it if you wanted to, of course. Um, here's some different signs of the Zodiac. Predictions from 1908. Okay, so there's early turn of the century, but I do believe there's 1800s, late 1800s stuff. Uh, waterproof blacking. So let's uh, get a little further in. How to make sponge cake. Molasses cake. It's like a cookbook here. And you see, once again, this was done over an original ledger, 1888's date there. Different recipes. Let's see if we can look at the handwriting. This is a prescription. A customer of mine today was reading this one. Calls for some whiskey in there. That'll do the trick. Now, this one is, is I would imagine, to be pretty desirable in in terms of be, because early cookbooks are in general and what we have here is just you know a ton of individual um you know things of, of cooking pickles what is this chunk pickles very very cool so some uh wife of, of somebody put that together and i'll move on to the next one so this is one that I recently traded for. And it says here, this book was commenced by Ella Bates, 1874. She died in uh, 1924. And this was actually bought in the Strand Bookstore in New York City. I'm keeping this because I really am enjoying it. And it just is filled. It is filled with all sorts of uh things of poetry i mean you you name it let's see if we can get in on one here what's this one this one's titled sympathy uh, my screen's messing with me a little bit i'll try to correct that duties of a cabinet officer i wish that could run away the the bells on the other page let me see here the devil outdone the rate of interest a young man's awful fate the old house. These are really great. And you know something, like the people who wrote these, let me try to get a better, see if we can hone in on the text. My camera's messing up pretty good. There we go. Brown root covered with ivy that trails over window and door. Crawls through the chinks in the gables to sleep on the garret floor. Cracks where the magical sunshine checkers the wall with gold. Plays at Bo Peep with the shadows that lurk in the corners old. Shingles a tune to the raindrops that dance to the song of the breeze as it beats out a march on the chimney and whistles a waltz in the trees. Homely old porch where the creepers are weaving their emerald screen and twining around the worn pillars their tremendous fingers of green. See, it's beautiful and they just go on. There's even, there's some, I pointed this out. 
There was like some black poetry, a Negro farm song. Now the rain am come at last, and the long drought time is past, and the grass is a coming fast in the shower, and the morning glory briar, and the pulses growing higher every hour. Oh, darkies, mind this warning. You don't have long to play, for them glories in the morning brings trouble all the day. Oh, the cabbage laugh today, and the squashes sing and play, and the taters grow away. Out the row, and the cucumbers am springing, and the devil's seed am bringing work and woe. Now, darky, sure as you born, Massa Reuben's early horn will call you in that corn with the plow. For the ragweeds am a looming, and the moz pops am a blooming. Tell you now, oh the rain brow, call the rain. For the white folks good and gain, for the darkies work in pain, mo and mo. It's like a song. I could sing a song. I'm gonna finish it. For the coffee weed am smiling, and that cotton field is sp spiling. For the hoe, thank the Lord, He know the best. For the parching crop and blessed. Ah, the darkies have some rest in the shower, but that morning glory briar and that pulse he's growing higher every hour. Awesome, huh? A sleigh bell. Look at all the, I mean, you can go on and on. It's filled. I freaking love this stuff. The two roses. I mean, I'm going to flip it. I mean, the thing is, is some of these things that are composed here, you won't find anywhere else. Like uh, somebody got them published in a paper you know back in the day and for and for the first time it's probably seen probably for the last time and now you have this capsule right here in front of you directly connecting you back to these people who compiled it who who wrote this stuff i think that i think they're beautiful beautiful historical items and, and, and pieces of folk art uh you could sit here and read this stuff all day and i'll tell you if you found a poem like that like the black poem there, talking about a the, quite a different time in, in in history you know it really illustrated beautifully like like some of these people you would put that in a little frame and sell that if you found that uh, and somebody would absolutely buy it i don't know what they pay for it, but they would buy it i i know that so um let me actually get to showing you some values of some of these things and then i'll show you a couple more things again it's a little bit of extended video but i don't want to rush it you know sometimes i find myself rushing some of these things and there's no need like if you're interested you'll watch it if you're not then you're not so let's check out some values so this was a collectible antique document an original ship's ledger and this sold for 475 last year so very cool, you know, content is so important. There's going to be a big collector's market for that. This one here is Tennessee Confederate store ledger. So for $550, August 8th, 2020, anything South Confederate is always going to uh, bring a good dollar amount, but I'm just giving you an overview. Let's see. What is this one? Ledger of slaves offered at a Memphis slave market. What a what some history, huh? Check that out. Four hundred and sixty dollars. And these are pages. These are six individual pages or five out of a ledger. Here's a 1720s ledger, a Boston one, sold for twenty nine hundred dollars. That was way back in 2016. Um, amazing though, amazing. Let's see a little script. Look at that. Isn't that something? And again, it doesn't, like, the condition is pretty rough on a lot of these ledgers. They're handled quite heavily. But if the content is right, you're generally going to be okay. This was apparently John Hancock's le ledger. Look at that, huh? Incredible. This lot passed. Um, let's see. Look at that writing, huh? Incredible, 1700s. Let's scroll down a little bit. All right, so they're saying it definitely is John Hancock's. Uh, very interesting. Here's the New York Central Antique Railroad Ledger from 1847 to 1853. Sold for 275 bucks in 2008. Here's a hotel, uh, Hudson River Hotel Ledger. Sold in 2001. 1897 to 1908 that's something 
and yeah i found a lot with drawings in them and all sorts of stuff so for seven hundred dollars i mean there isn't another one like it is there that's a once in a lifetime show you a couple more folks a civil war ledger 52nd pennsylvania infantry 450 dollars very cool a little inside look names and dates and all sorts of stuff this is a shoemaker's ledger 1835 sold for 80 dollars so let's give a little inside look very very cool and i'll show you one more here here's a scrapbook american scrapbook and ledger drawings from the 19th century sold for 130 dollars this is pretty cool. It has a lot of old pictures, old content here. Very cool. And I have a couple like this. So I thought it would be nice to give you a little reference to show you what some of these have fetched. The values are kind of, can be all over the place. And content is most important, of, of, of course. To, to me it is. I think to most it is again these are just unique individual items now one thing that you'll find in a lot of ledgers at least that i've found is certain like advertisements broadsides they're called and i have a catalog here specifically on broadsides from um uh shoot i forget when this was put into publication but what's interesting is i found a lot of stuff like this not just in books but plenty in ledgers like they'll be filled with clippings or things of this nature. And I have some upstairs that maybe I'll put in my book, you know, scrapbook here. So let's just look at this catalog. So a lot of these, like this this paper here, okay, uh, Dr. Flowers Appointments, Chicago Lung Infirmary. Look how much you're asking on these. You probably find something like this. You'll find a lot of church ones, Halloween Parade, 1932. They're asking 225 on that. Um, working men arouse, labor party stuff up in Albany, 650, 1867. So this is really cool stuff. I just want to give you a sense of what some of these, at least the asking prices are. There's a pop one. Light up, <laughs> May 6, 450 on that one they're, they're asking. Um, now this... <laughs> I mean, I just laugh at this. 1938, someone drew that thing. And I'll tell you, I know a couple kids that could do a similar job. If that's what they're actually getting for them, expect some on my seller site. <laughs> like this, look, reward for any information about five kittens given to a man by mistake. What? By, by a woman in the front of this store. Okay, that's kind of interesting. $200. Someone gave someone kittens by mistake all right oh that's a cool calendar check that out so okay well i i think i've said enough i think i've showed you enough there's a nice collector's market for these things and g generally in most cases i'm able to get them pretty cheap um i don't know if the general public i don't know if they really care a lot about it or even think a lot about it but they're so historically re relevant and a lot of people do have interest in them and it's definitely piqued my interest this last year i love sitting and looking through them and reading things like that old black poetry there or or love poems you'll see things scripted all over i, I have one on a, a farmer that put a sheep farming one together and i actually showed you this one See, I have a number laid out. This is a, a big bank one, and there's a pile there. And I showed you this one. Now, this is a more of a vintage. And, of course, you have, again, the poetry, the newspaper clippings. Pretty beat up, but, um, you know, pictures here. It's more so a religious one. You know, they're walking in the woods, and they found these, right? And they taped them in. It was important to them. It was probably a young girl or something. Uh, look at this beautiful handwriting, the definition of friendship. What is a friend? I will tell you, it is a person with whom you dare to be yourself. Your soul can go naked with him. He seems to ask of you to, what does that say, something on nothing? I don't know. Uh, only to be what you are. He does not want you 
to be better or worse. When you are with him, you feel as a prisoner. Okay, this makes me sick. Uh, anyhow, you know, they're really, really cool. This has been one of my most uh, recent finds. Obviously, probably some young girl put this uh, together. And it's beautiful. So, Well, that's going to be it for me. I hope you all have been enjoying my channel. Continue to do so. I, help, I hope that you found this video interesting. If you do, hit the like button, okay? It uh, won't kill you, right? So I, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, and um, I just find this stuff to be so special. And uh, I, ha I, I have a great enjoyment going through it and rediscovering the, the past through, through these books. So, um, okay, everybody. Uh, until next time, I hope you all have a nice weekend. It's getting beautiful out here. And, of course, everyone's bitching about the heat. It's like, man, we waited all winter for this. So I'm going to go get burnt up here soon. Everyone, take care wherever you are. And until next time, we'll see you.